Northwest Bus Sales. Good afternoon everyone, my name is Jack and I'm in Northwest Bus Sales. Today I'm going to be showing you a 2006 Bluebird All-American. Now from the uh, time that I'm making this video, we do have a few of these available. Eric's been giving a nice pan over there. A lot of rear engine That's Bluebird. <laughs> nice uh, Bluebird All-Americans down there. There's also conventionals. We have a ton of school buses right now. Big, small, conventional front engine, rear engine, the whole nine yards. You need school, school buses or a one-stop shop. Uh, but yeah, so as I said, 2006 Bluebird All-American is a full 40-foot uh, school bus here, and I'm excited to show it to you. Let's check it out. So uh, coming on inside, we have uh, your typical air-operated uh, bifold entry door. Uh, I think it was black, but it looks more gray now. Gray uh, pebble step treads, white step nosing, and some nice little grab handles coming on in here. <clears throat> All right, so uh, in the cockpit area, first thing I'm gonna point out, air ride driver's seat. Goes all the way down and all the way up. So pretty cool. It's got some other stuff for like, uh, you know, or it's got the little the lever right here as well to go back and forth and things like that. Um, Eric's gonna show you the mileage. 220, 220,000 miles. Oh wow, 22440. That's pretty cool. This is a lucky bus, the lucky number bus. Um, yeah, so uh, over here we got your uh, Allison automatic transmission shift pad. Open and close the door down here. Down here we got your uh, heaters. Basically, there's a few of them in the back, front, defrost, all that good stuff, all your heater controls. <laughs> the uh, buttons down here, these are three position switches. You got low is down, off is in the middle, and then high is all the way up so pretty cool uh, you got cruise control down here for those long nights if you uh you know going down the highway it's always nice to have um the uh over here we got your uh, headlight control here dome lights down here going down we got your uh, fans up here believe it or not even on really hot days those do help quite a bit uh underneath this missile switch here uh this is for your uh it's got a cannon on the front of it. You can push this. It. Yeah, I'm kidding. Those are uh, those are on-spot tire chains there. Pretty cool. Uh, and then back here we got uh, your uh, power mirrors. They're also heated. There's a heat switch there as well. Uh, up top here we got an AM FM CD stereo. Um, let's see if it works. Uh, it's got a PA as well. A lot. Yep, it does work. Pretty cool. And uh, yeah, uh, Eric's gonna show you the driver's seat upholstery. No big rips, cuts, tears, anything like that. Looks pretty dang good going all the way up. All right, so in the back, this is a 78 passenger school bus that is three kids to a seat. Um, first glance, seat covers look pretty outstanding, I will say. Uh, so far, I don't even see a patch job yet. Uh, there's no foam sticking out no big uh holes from the pencils or you know graffiti or whatever the heck the kids do these days uh looks pretty dang good seats are awesome uh up top we got uh emergency roof hatches two of them one in the front one in the back we got some speakers zigzagging their way down the aisle and dome lights going all the way down so uh as of recently uh conversion has been a very uh hot topic that we are getting a lot of calls for so I just wanted to let you guys know the dimensions here. So uh, Eric's gonna show you from behind the driver's seat, if you can show him that. Behind the driver's seat, all the way to where I'm standing, to back here, to this little back wall here before the engine, that's 31 feet. So you got 31 feet of overall space to use. As far as width, you got seven feet, six inches on the inside of, uh, of, of room. So 31 feet in the back of the driver's seat, back wall. It's for seven feet six inches wide six feet four inches tall so pretty cool now you guys now you guys know that in case you need the the uh, dimensions on it so uh yeah that'll do it for the inside we'll check out the outside all right eric's going to show you the front passenger side tire here a nice pan of that
give you a nice pan of the underneath there. Alright, so uh, underneath here we do got pass through underfloor storage. Now I don't know what happened on this side of the uh, compartments, but that door and that trim looks pretty dang good. This door and that trim looks pretty rusty. So just do want to point that out. It's just some minor surface rust, but just do want to point it out. It's good to know. Alright, Eric's gonna give you a pan of the uh, of the rear passenger side duels. And uh, inside here you got your uh, slide out battery box and tray. Eric's going to show you the engine area in here. You got your master switch right there. Basically that cuts off all the power to uh, pretty much everything from the battery so you don't leave a light on or something and have a, uh, you know, then you got to jump the bus or, you know, that's no fun. So whenever you're done operating the bus for an extended period of time, just turn, just make it a habit, turn that master switch on, you'll be good to go. Alright, this does have, uh, this is powered by the Cat C7, 7.2 liter turbo diesel engine paired with an Allison automatic transmission. Eric's going to get right in there and show you guys what's going on. Again, Kyler 7 turbo diesel engine. Alright, uh, Eric's going to give you a little pan of the, of, uh, under the engine as well. Show you what's going on under there. So you guys just saw the engine area, and now we're going to show you the other side of the underfloor storage. He's going to show you the rear uh, driver's side duals. Nice pan underneath. Um, again, these bays here look awesome. I mean, they don't, they're not rusty by any means. So I don't know what's going on with that bay over there, but these, the, these look not nice and clean. Even down here. On this trim down here, you'll notice the one over there was rusty. These aren't, so. Eric's doing a heck of a job getting you those nice angles underneath. Inside here, we got your electrical panel with a uh, chart, a key, or a legend, whatever you like to call it, showing you what everything does, or a schematic. If you want the proper nomenclature. I uh, got your front uh, driver's side tire there. And I do want to point out, this is pretty dang cool. It says have a Washington State Patrol safety inspection sticker from 2020. So, uh, kind of self-explanatory, but I'll explain it anyways. That means that in 2020, passed the uh, Washington State Patrol safety inspection. So, oh, really? yeah, so pretty cool. Uh, that, that is somewhat of a big deal, basically around here in Washington. State Patrol goes through the buses, make sure that they're, you know, fit and ready to operate in the in the school district that they're going to work with because you know safety is the number one priority when it comes to our children anyways uh thank you for watching this northwest bus sales exclusive video tour if you like this bus or any other buses on our lot you can call us at 1-800-231-7099 visit us at nwbus.com or email us sales at nwbus.com thank you very much for watching